Hello, good evening. Out here in the garden again, and it's a Friday evening. Uh, just coming up to about six o'clock, I think. I'm not sure. I've been busy in here doing this. Just let me show you what we've been doing today. So we've had about oh, must have had 10, 12 volunteers in today, and lots and lots of customers. And so you can see now that every single table along there is full. I think there's eight tables on that side, each of them with 400 plants on. These are some runner beans that uh, we're just waiting to come through. Over on this side, uh, we've got still got some seed trays, but there was 160 of them. We're now down to about 50 of them. And the modular trays over there, yeah, they're going down as well. Uh, but what I'm in here to do at the moment, because it's nice and quiet now, everybody's gone home so I can think and I can concentrate. So let me show you this job that I'm going to do now. So this is a peach tree. Lots and lots of you said to us over the last two months how beautiful that peach tree is. Well, you can see now its beauty has faded, but we've definitely got some peaches on there swelling now, look. And they're getting fatter and fatter and fatter. And now is the time to thin them out. So, if I just pick one branch, excuse me a second, I'm trying to get my footing in here. I'm right in the middle of a couple of wet tables. Anyway, let me show you this look. So if I pick this one branch up, you can see there are lots and lots of baby peaches on there. Now we don't want hundreds of tiny peaches. We want a few juicy, fully ripe peaches. So if I take my first choice, yeah, out of these two, I'll go a bit closer maybe, that one there and that one there. Well, that one there is much bigger and fatter. So I'll take that little one off and I'll take that one at the side off. Now I'll take that one off as well, and that one, now I'm just pulling them off, now you can see there, there's one there look, so I'm going up the stem there's some more there, now what I want is about five six inches between each peach, that will give the tree uh, plenty of space uh, so that the fruits will ripen and it will be able to concentrate its energies on just a few fruit rather than lots of them. So. If you pick yours off, if you've got any peaches, uh, I presume you do the same thing with apricots. I've never actually tried it, but it always works with this peach if I leave them about six inches apart. So you see, I'm going up there now and I've got some more off. There we are, we're up to here now. Let me get these few off and I'll show you the first lot that I've done. So, from there, where the first peach is up the branch, we're going up until we get to this bunch of peaches here. Now that there, is a nice fat one. So I'll leave that one on and take off all of the others. I hope this isn't too boring for you watching me picking bits off my beech tree. Anyway, there we go. Look, that's the job done. I'll just do one branch just to show you that lot, then I'll carry on with the rest of them when you lot have gone home and had your tea. Anyway, one peach there, see if we can get a better view of it. And another one about six inches up, which is there. Now I'm going to do that the same to all of these on these branches here. So there's between five and six inches between each peach. Uh, I don't know how many we'll get at the end, but I'll come and show you in a few days when they've settled down and started to, to started to fatten up a bit more. Anyway, that's me fiddling with my peaches. Hope you have a lovely day. Uh, well, hope you've had a lovely day. Get out and get some evening sunshine. It'd be nice maybe for a walk, a, a stroll along the promenade maybe. Anyway, from me here at the Oasis Garden on Wellington Street in Grimsby. Bye.